been doing Firestarter all wrong. Or maybe you haven't, I don't know. Prior to the 1.4 update, there was a specific strategy on how to take out the Firestarter that involved ignoring all the other cogs that joined the fight and just wailing on the manager directly. After the 1.4 update where a minor change was implemented, you can't do that anymore. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I tried to tune up, it didn't work. I'll hurry back. Oh, I'm still gonna die. Hold on. Never mind. The strategy so far has just been to cope with it and waste a lot of Unites as the cogs barrage you with damage. Until now. I've come up with a quick and comprehensive cycle to be able to finish this fight in just 6 turns pretty consistently. Mostly people have been avoiding destroying the extra cogs because when you do, Flint gains a cheat called Pyromaniac that gives him extra damage and resistance that grows every round. However, I found that his 5 extra damage per round is a lot more tolerable than the 20 extra damage per cog. So here's what I've come up with. What you'll need is a majority of the people in your group are going to need sound, prestige drop, and prestige throw. And you're going to need at least one or two people in the group to have prestige lure, squirt, trap, and tune up. Most people will have a lot of these to start with, but just making sure you fill in the gaps of having sound, drop, and throw is what's vital. Find the fire starter, start the fight, here we go. Turn 1, Squirt Triple Drop. This does early damage, and since the cogs that are in the fight aren't on fire yet, they won't deal a lot of damage to you yet. Turn 2, Sound and Tune Up and or Drop. Now that the extra cogs are on fire, you need to clear them out. Analyze how much health the cogs have, and figure out if you need to use 2 or 3 sound gags to clear the row. Remember that the damage on the cogs is multiplied by 2, so 2 foghorns is going to do 280 damage, while 3 foghorns will do 420. The remaining tunes will either tune up if needed, or if it's not needed, then you can drop flint directly. Turn 3, Lure Triple Throw. Now that the cogs are cleared, Flint will begin his damage up and his resistance, so it's important to take him out as quick as you can before it builds too high. Since he's alone, you want to hit him and end the turn before any other cogs can join to become on fire. So you're going to quickly use a prestige $50 bill and 3 birthday cakes to deal massive damage and also help heal yourself a little bit. Turn 4. Lure, Trap, Tune Up, and Maybe Drop. Following the last turn, Flint will have used his fire cheat to hit everyone, because he's angry. And now the battle will probably be full of cogs again. So to keep the cogs from attacking after you've taken such a hit, you're going to lure them in. Since you're luring, you don't want to waste the turn, and so have somebody else trap the fire starter for some extra damage. And depending on how injured your team is, two tune-ups might be necessary. Otherwise, if you only need one, the last person can drop after the trap. Turn 5. This is where it gets a little easier because it's just repetition. Repeat the process from turn 2. Sound to clear out the cogs, tune up if it's still necessary, otherwise the remaining tunes can drop the fire starter. As a note, you may notice that the manager is weak enough on this turn to kill him, but it's important to clear out the fired cogs first, otherwise they will unlure the following turn and you will be risking going sad. Turn 6, once all the cogs are cleared, just like with turn 3, you're gonna lure triple throw him, and if all the previous gags up to this point have hit, this should result in defeating the fire starter. And if it doesn't, then you're close enough to win the next turn. Once he's gone, take out the remaining cogs, and you've won! I've already run a dozen or so fire starters this way and picked up the hat, so hopefully this makes this fight a little easier for you guys. Leave a like if you'd like to see more of these guides, especially with the new changes from 1.4, and I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.